Hello, I'm Tyler, a student pharmacist at the Butler University College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences in Indianapolis, Indiana, and I'm here today to bring you some important information on how you can take charge of your own health and live life to the fullest. One of the biggest problems in modern medicine today is the concept of medication adherence. In this short video, my colleagues and I will inform you of A, what medication adherence is, B, why it's important, and C, how to perfect it in your life and with the people you care about. We've got some exclusive inter interviews coming up with the key players in today's medical world. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the wonderful information we're about to bring to you. Simply put, medication adherence is the expectation that the drugs which your doctor prescribes will make it all the way through their course of treatment without delays, missed doses, or any problems at all. To some people, it may seem like a silly concept. Of course we would take the medicines that the doctor says we're supposed to. How else would we get better? However, in the real world, complications from insurance companies, pharmacies, doctors, and factors from the patients themselves often lead to non-adherence. With that knowledge in hand, we set out to determine just what the big deal was about this medication adherence. And who better to talk to than a physician himself? I had patients who were just unhappy with their how they responded to their treatment. It's amazing how many of them never got their prescription filled. They were unhappy because they weren't better, but they never even tried the medication. Or they got the medication prescription filled, but either didn't take it or didn't take it properly. And that is uh, time and time again a problem. Sometimes it's a patient's motivation. Sometimes the patient just doesn't understand. Um, I have had patients who were, were motivated to have a procedure done or do the right thing, but particularly in older individuals, try as you might, you could write out the instructions, you could give it to them, you can call and remind them, and they still might not take the medication correctly. Poor medication adherence is, surprisingly enough, a major problem in modern healthcare. Though millions of Americans take prescription medications under a physician's care, a recent World Health Organization report revealed that only 50% of patients actually follow their doctor's orders when it comes to taking prescription drugs. This shocking statistic is the reason why poor medication adherence kills more Americans each year than accidents, pneumonia, and the flu combined, and costs society more than $175 billion annually. In fact, up to 10% of new hospital admissions are believed to be attributed to not taking medications properly or not taking them at all. Non-adherence to medication can happen for a vast number of reasons, but we'll out outline a few of the most common here. Cost is a major deterrent to patients being able to consistently take their medications. Brand name medications are generally more expensive than generic alternatives. To maximize cost savings, your doctor should be able to consult your insurance's formulary or a list of medications they typically cover. If you do not have insurance, many local pharmacies have a discounted drug list. If you're having trouble paying for a medication, some doctors may have a few drug samples to offer a short-term supply. Some drug manufacturers also have assistance plans to help with drug costs. Some less common medications may not always be in stock at all pharmacies. It may help to call ahead so that your pharmacist can order the medication to have it on time just for you or call other pharmacies to find it. Taking a medication as prescribed can be difficult when the directions are unclear. It is important to clarify instructions with your pharmacist, your doctor, or another member of the medical team before you start on a new medication. 
We're all human. Sometimes we just forget to take our medications. It's okay, but there are some ways to prevent this. Keep the medication in a familiar location. Right next to the toothbrush is usually a good way to remember it. If you're tech savvy, you can use your cell phone or PDA to remind you to take your medication daily. Just set an alarm for a convenient time each day as a reminder. Some phones even have medication reminder applications. Using a medication organizer box, such as this one, can help you remember to take your medication, as well as keep track of when you have missed a dose. As with anything, the more you do it, the easier it is to remember. Just make taking your medication part of your daily routine, and soon it will be simple. I hope you've learned a thing or two from our presentation today. Medication adherence, as we have shown, has a huge impact on our healthcare today and it's important for everyone to have a firm grasp on how to do it right. If you have any further questions, remember that your friendly neighborhood pharmacist is always available. We're the most accessible members of the healthcare team and we're here for you. Best of health. <laughs>